Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today we're going to do something different. I was sketching um, this drawing for my daughter because she requested me to create, to find her a printable page that had Scarlet Witch and Minions. And I could only find one and it the quality was really bad. So I figured since I was sketching, it's been a long time that I don't sketch. However, I was like, okay, I think my minion looks kind of cute. So maybe I could like document the process. And I know Scarlet is already done, but um, I'm just gonna finish her up. I think her look, it's more of more like tall hair. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you like this sketching videos or you rather just the coloring. I think it's more like in that direction. Scarlet has like pointy face. So let me find a cool image to copy. It's not Scarlet Witch, it's Scarlet something else. Scarlet Minions. I didn't knew Sandra Bullock is the voice. It's not a really good picture, but I think it will fit the purpose. So yeah, her hair is more like towards this direction, right? Actually, it's kind of round and uh, like this and then like this, more sharp. And this probably is going to have to be lighter. Same as here. I could be here all day long. Okay, so. So I have a website, so a little bit of update. I have a website and I need to figure out how to, I mean, I still have to configure my website and my idea is I want to upload this picture as a free print. So we have Scarlet and Minion printable in case you or your children are interested, like mine. I'm not so good with a facial expression. I know she's kind of smiling and I know something going on in here that I want to probably work. Her neck is very thin and she has something here. She's got this smile like uh, <laughs> I'm not a good <laughs> person. Yeah, my picture doesn't have any resolution, so let me see if I can get a better one. There we go. Oh, she has uh, green eyes.
will have to do her makeup when I color her. We definitely have to do her makeup. And well, I have my mixed feelings about this. A actually this sounds like a little bit more round. My mixed feelings, and I'm gonna explain in a little bit. I'm kind of enjoying having this square, but with La Scarlet, <laughs> with La Scarlet, it's gonna be a little bit challenging. I think I'm going to go for the coloring part and let a little bit of fun for let the fun this is my baby minion. The sign, of course. Here. to scan it they have a copy like this a version like this and then I'm going to highlight it in black so this happened I scanned it with my scanner and that's what I got <laughs> so I figure what I need to do is because for example those lines are good and the darker lines are apparently I are good so I'm going to go back and press a little bit harder so I can actually get copies of this because if I cannot get copies although um, I'm gonna do first the, the minion the thing is that I want to have the printable version and I was thinking that I wanted to go first with my, you know, lighter version in pencil and then later to go with my, sorry, I don't know how to draw and talk at the same time, apparently. And then go back uh, with a black marker so I have like the easier version so we could get both right like one with a little bit more of detail and the other one with a little bit more simple depending on on what the artist, the coloring artist wants to do either just go with the a more simple version or a version that has a little bit of shadows on it on a softer version we'll see because Okay, 
Vamos a ver. Mr. I, Mr. I. One thing that's been that I'm struggling with recording the process is that I used to flip a lot the page and I don't want to have a shaky video, well, not shaky, but I, I want it to be, I don't know, I think it's easier to watch if I just flipping it around, but that's actually the what I do a lot I do that a lot like I move the page a lot actually I don't even when I'm writing I'm not writing in a straight line I have like to do this and writing like flip it if it makes any sense people used to know this when I was at the university and all this stuff. Or school, like, they were like, why do you do that with the page? I don't know, I just, that's the way I think it's comfortable for me, I guess. Okay. Actually, I think this should be more like this, no? This is a tirante, though. I watch a movie and those kids, end of the world movie, movies, and the kid had a, a box of Prisma colors. And that was very funny because he was like documenting the whole thing with his Prisma colors. Probably they paid him the movie for that, but I think it was so cool. Like, yeah. I think drawing is like doing your makeup. And when you're doing your eyeliner, it's so difficult to do the shape you want the, just in one line. So They tell you to just do thin, short line, keep going because it's more forgiving. So I guess it's the same. Same here. Well, I think Marco Cola coloring, color, Marco Pola coloring could be read good enough, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Let's go with Les Scarlet. Les Scarlet has this weird line.
se está haciendo la Scarlet Witch. And the minion. And the baby minion. Do you like it? But mom, mommy, the baby minion has a pocket. Has a pocket? Yes. And, and, the, and the baby minion has a pocket. He wants a bracito, just like you. Osito! Osito! You want a teddy bear for him? Yes. Yeah. I want a teddy bear in my nose. Teddy brother? Y okay. A teddy bear, pero le peluche porque mm -hmm. the, the baby minions, they like the peluche. Mm -hmm. And the big minions, they like the peluche. And Can you check baby, what's wrong? And another baby has peluches. Pues that what happened? Mama, venga, ponle un peluche. Espera, porque voy a hacerle este ojo. Un segundo, que acabo Scarlett y ahora le hago el peluche. Mama, falta la boca. Los niños tienen boca. Sí. ¿Cómo son las bocas de los Minions? Pues... Like a smiley. Like a smile. ¿Así? No, así. <risa> así, mamá. Oh, it's so cute. Here? The smile is here. No, mamá, this is a pocket. So this is the copy and that one's the original. Now that we have the coloring page, my four-year-old is going to color it. What I'm going to do is I will upload this uh, picture for, to my website if you want to color it. And I will leave the link down below. I may also want to color this coloring page myself and I may do it uh, in the near future. But for now, I leave you my four-year-old work of art because <laughs> oh, he's my best ally in the art community. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for sharing this video, liking and subscribing. And I hope to see you soon. Bye! I think he's doing a great job on the skin, actually. My little artist. I will also leave you a few suggestions on video that I think you may like uh, in just a second. So I hope you like the proposals and give them a try.